Hey guys, this is a quick video, well hopefully quick about the whole issue with Helvetica and Chrome. I don't know why this is an ongoing issue. I've been sort of scouring the web, searching Google forums about people having similar problems. So it's not just me, it seems it's an ongoing issue only with Chrome. And you'll notice here in my browser, these, these sections here are hardly readable. It's almost like it's a broken font that's just not correct. And, um, you know, if you right click on that and then go to inspect element, you'll, you'll be able to see that that is in fact the Helvetica font. That's a problem on windows computers. I'm not sure if the same applies to Apple, but you can see here down the right, if I scroll down, there's the font that that CSS section is using. CSS is cascading style sheets in, in HTML. It's actually calling that font from my system. So if I uncheck that, you can see that the code immediately fixes it here. That's how it's supposed to look. Obviously I can't do that because if I refresh the page, it will reset. So the, 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 the problem is how do we find a permanent solution for this? Now I have been looking at my computer. The best way to do that is simply hit the windows R key on your keyboard, which brings up the run command and then just put in C going on backslash windows fonts, press enter. And it will list all the fonts in your machine with the built-in Windows font viewer. And, um, you know, if you want, you can go in here and view it by details. And let's just put in Helvetica. I'm still not sure how this would have happened since this used to be an old design computer of mine that I um, used inside of another business when I was working for an agency. And my feeling is that they have maybe installed some fonts on here that somehow shouldn't have been on here you know i don't know but anyway and if i go through this you'll notice that there's a font here called helvetica and this is the font that we're trying to get rid of now when i double click that helvetica font you can see here in the font viewer what it actually looks like this is also just built into windows you can notice here on like the point size 12 setting here that the fonts not very legible i i don't know if you guys can see this in youtube with the video conversion quality but it's definitely pixelated. This doesn't look like an authentic Helvetica font to me. Uh, they just don't make these kind of fonts. Their fonts are pretty flawless. So this font definitely seems corrupt. And I think what we're going to do next is try and remove it, which probably won't work. Because if you try to delete these fonts from Windows, typically you'd get an error message uh, since they're locked. So what I'm going to do is, in fact, I know that. I'm not even going to show you. This, these fonts are all locked in Windows. So what I'm going to do next is reboot my computer into safe mode, which will allow me to unlock those fonts since they're viewed as sort of Windows default system fonts. And then I'm going to remove it using the Windows safe mode command shell. And we'll flip back to you guys once that process is done with my results. Hey guys, so we're back. I just rebooted my computer and I wanted to just also share with you the proper way to get into safe mode on Windows 8 is you just hit Windows key R, which brings up your run menu. Type in msconfig, hit OK, and then you'll get to this menu. From here, go to boot, choose safe mode, alternate shell. That is the one you want to choose. Do not choose minimal. I had problems with that when I go into minimal. Obviously, you still get your lower resolution user interface for Windows, but the file is still locked. So the only way around that I figured out was to actually go into the shell of Windows, which then means you have to execute a couple of DOS commands, which I'll share with you. Uh, basically what you do is you open up again your run command. Obviously once you've chosen this, click OK, and you will be prompted to restart your computer and just click restart. So I'm going to just say exit. Now once you've restarted, you'll get into a shell, which kind of looks like this except you'll be in a different folder. It actually puts you straight into the Windows folder. Uh, I think it goes to Windows System 32. I think that's what you'll end up being in this folder. And then from here, all you want to do is go to your fonts folder. Enter the following command, which pops you into your fonts folder. And then from there, if you wanted to, you can just do a DIR, which stands for directory listing, put in Helvetica dot star. I have a file called Helvetica dot old. So I didn't want to remove the file only because I, you know, 
I want to keep the font there in case it is absolutely needed by Windows. So just as a precaution, I decided to rename it to .all, which is also very simple. What you want to do then is simply type in REN for rename. And in your case, it would be TTF or OTF to Helvetica.all. You can give it any name you want. Um, and then once you hit that command, it will rename the font. You know, you cannot do this in regular Windows 8 mode. The file is locked, like I said before. You have to be in shell mode to be able to do this. You can, of course, also delete the file, but it's not recommended, in which case you will just put delete, you know, Helvetica dot TTF before it's renamed, and then it will just delete the file. Uh, once that's done, you will not have a Windows button anymore to click on to go to reboot. So what you want to do then is from the command shell, just enter msconfig, and that will bring up the same familiar menu I just showed you. And then from here, you would go back to boot. You would uncheck safe mode, click OK, and your Windows computer will then just boot back into your good old high resolution mode again, non-safe mode. So that's how you do that. Now I'm back in that mode right now. So what I want to do next is quickly open up Chrome, which is where this issue was at. And let's see if it works, right? So if I go to the site I was testing, newegg.com, which by the way, you know, it's got nothing to do with new egg. Um, and I scroll down the list here, you'll see that my fonts have been fixed. I don't have that issue anymore. So it seems like the Helvetica font I hadn't somehow gotten onto my system was not the correct font or somehow it should not have been on there because of, like I said before, by comparing my existing Windows installation to my Windows laptop installation, the Helvetica doesn't exist in that installation. So it made sense to me that just removing it should probably solve this issue, which it did. I had a bunch of emails that had this problem and a lot of websites just not looking good for me. So I'm really looking forward to now again using my computer with the proper font rendering the way it was intended to be. So hopefully this helps everybody and good luck on your efforts.